Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the July original BAM box, or as people call it, the OG BAM box, which I'm a fan of, I've been a fan of. Uh, the only thing I remember that I really liked from the last one was the um, Fight Club art print, because I was very, very excited about that. Oh, also the Matthew Lillard uh, autograph was really cool, although I preferred the one from the horror box that month, but anyway. So hopefully they keep going strong with these boxes. Um, just wanted to throw out there, people, as I cut this open and get things ready with it, um, please subscribe to the channel if you could. It doesn't take you a whole lot of time. You just hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. It doesn't take you that much time, so it's a minor nuisance. Um, spread the word about it. Uh, if I can end up getting to a point where I can monetize at least a little bit, um, have enough subscribers, have enough views on, on the videos, then you can throw out ideas and I can just go ahead and subscribe to some other things, potentially do some more unboxings. Um, so yeah, so we can potentially do that. Uh, my last two unboxings from last month actually got a pretty good amount of views. So if that continues, then, you know, hey. Also, I'm going to be uh, investing, tissue paper, investing in getting a little bit better lighting, which will make me uh, have the ability to diversify a little bit more with where I can record, uh, and the lighting will just be better in general. So that is coming. Not for this video, maybe not for the horror one, but probably for the next month at least. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Oh, three pieces of tissue paper. An extra for my cat. She's going to be very excited. So, oh, I don't remember any of the franchise items for this, any of the properties. Um, yeah, any of them. I really don't. So, we'll see. Uh, first thing's the prop replica. Oh! Okay, now I remember. Harry Potter. This is cool, actually. Um, so, this is a wand. And it feels like... I don't know, it kind of feels like metal, kind of feels like ceramic, kind of feels a little bit like wood. It's kind of hard to tell what it actually is. This is really, it's going to be, I mean, with the lighting and how things are, this is going to be hard to tell. Oh, there, the lighting got better. I, I hit, like, the magic spot, and then I didn't anymore. You can see it from there. Wand. There's the, yeah, you can see right there. Yeah. Pretty good. Feels a little weird. Um... But yeah, that's cool. I mean, if people are like real into Harry Potter. Actually, I might be able to give this to my niece. She's a big Harry Potter person, and it looks cool. So, that's pretty solid. Next thing, something really small. It's just in this like little box. Is this a die? This is like a six-sided die for something. Does this go with something? Because literally, it's like... It's got, like, you can see it's got, like, a divot in there. And it's like something sits in it. So there's got to be something else to this. Hopefully. Aha! Another nondescript box that is totally falling apart. It's a marble. Of... What is that? There's, like, something... It's, like, a glass marble. And I can't... I'm going to have to put my hand up to the back of this so you can kind of see. There we go. I'm sorry, it's not the easiest, but there you go. You can kind of see it's like a worm type thing in there or something. Is this? I don't. Sorry. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but obviously it just kind of sits on that. It's a good good presentation. I don't know what this is. It, it like, kind of looks like a worm slash dragon type thing. I don't know. We'll find out in the spoiler sheet. Um, it looks good, though. It's quality. Uh, favorite part? The pin. Love the pins. And this one's by Nick Kokoza. He's done a bunch of them. Oh, <laughs> now I remember. Now I remember one of the franchises. Um, yeah, I was excited about this, actually. Uh, with the um, announcement that there's going to be another Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure movie... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, faux pas. Shouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> Bill and Ted, uh, we have a pin from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Wild Stallions, man. That's awesome. That's a really cool pin. Dig it. Really, really, really dig that pin. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's cool. Interested to know what the other possible possibilities were for that pin. Sorry again about the, uh, the phone. Usually remember to take care of that. So, the art print is done by Dino Crunch. 
uh, and he hand signed it apparently. Uh, it is oh okay. This is for the for Jurassic Park. Uh, I think it's not. Is it for the newest one? Yeah, actually, I think it is for the newest Jurassic Park. Maybe um, the Fallen Kingdom or whatever. I heard it's not that good, honestly. But this is cool. This is a really nice piece of artwork. Um, oh, it's called Dino Crunch. It's by Create and Destroy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Messed that one up. Yeah, it looks cool. Like, it's a cereal box. Uh, or I should say Dino Crunch. When I thought it was a person's name, Dino would be appropriate. But now that I know it's not, Dino is, is what it actually is. Dino Crunch. That was dumb. Uh, I got number 444 out of 2,000. That's cool. That looks really good. Really nice design. I'm not a huge fan, so I don't know if I'm really going to put that up or not. But mm, we'll find out. It looks good, though. All right, and then the autograph. Um, hmm, okay, I don't know who this is. Bradley Pierce from, oh, okay, Jumanji. He must have been the kid from the original Jumanji. He's not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, kid over there. Jumanji was a good movie. Um, I still enjoy it, actually. I haven't seen it in a while, but I still enjoy it. Um, honestly, that's good. That's a good autograph for a box like this. I dig it. That's cool. Now let's take a look at the spoiler sheet, because empty. Um, all right. So there were a few different th pictures you could have had signed for Jumanji. There was one that was limited to 250, and one limited to 99, which is a lot of what they've been doing. Um, so here, if I can. Oh God, that looks terrible. I'm trying to get decent. Okay, here you can kind of see. You can kind of see the different ones. There's him as like the monkey kid. And then the um, poster. Those are pretty cool. Um, then there is the Harry Potter, Harry Potter prop replica wand. Actually, I'm not even going to show it to you because it's all the same. There are no variants of that. Then there was the Dino Crunch, not Dino Crunch. Uh, there was a variant that was out of 500. And the only difference is it looks like uh, a few small differences. So you can see there's like a different what they're saying is like a free toy in there between these two and then different like I'm assuming like marshmallow shapes there you go I'm sorry my hands shake just pause it that'll help you all right then the oh Blade Runner 2049 is what it's from this thing's supposed to be a memory sphere I'm gonna try and not drop it it's supposed to be a memory sphere I mean like I said it looks good I haven't seen Blade Runner 2049 to be honest and the reason I haven't is I just keep not finding myself uh, with like an extra three hours to sit down and, and watch that movie. Eventually, it's going to happen. I like the original Blade Runner a lot, and I've heard really good things about 2049. So, I don't know if you'll really be able to see it, but there are a bunch of different variations on it that you could have ended up with, which I think that's cool when they do something like that. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm sure you couldn't really see it that on the screen. I, it's hard for me to even see it on the paper in real life, so... Um, and the coolest thing, the pins, um, so I got the regular one, then there was a variant out of 250 and a variant out of 99. The variant out of 99 is Rufus, super cool, it's played by George Carlin, R.I.P. And, um, those are all really sweet, big fan. Those are some great, great, great pins. Love it, love it, love it. And then the giveaway that they were doing, they were actually doing a Sylvia Hoax signed Blade Runner 2049 movie script. That's pretty awesome. I assume she wrote it or was involved in writing it. I don't know. Or maybe she was one of the actresses. I don't know. Like I said, sorry, I don't, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, no, actually, I can actually read on there. She did not write it or anything like that. She must just be in it. She must just be an actress in it. But that's a cool item to have as a giveaway. Anyway, this is good. Um, the autograph was solid. That memory sphere, uh, that little memory sphere is a cool thing. It's well done. The wand is well done. The art, even if I'm not into that particular movie, the art's really good. Um, and the pin, the pin is awesome. Uh, overall, real, real solid, real nice. Good job. For someone who is a big fan of all of these properties in this box, which I don't know, what the percentage of people that is probably pretty low, but for that one, that one or two people out there who's like, I love all these things so much, this box would be like uh, amazing for those people. 
Um, I found plenty of enjoyment in it, and I'm not like a huge fan of a lot of it um, property wise. So, speaks volumes. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Once again, please, please, please give me a subscribe. I really appreciate that. Um, let's also talk down below about, you know, nerdy stuff, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, like I said, you know, better lighting and location potentially coming in the near, very near future, actually. Um, and my horror box has not shipped yet. Uh, or no, actually, I just got the shipping today, so it's going to be a few days at least. Uh, hopefully I'll have the new lighting situation by then. Don't know, but we'll find out. Uh, anyway, thank you once again, and until next time, keep it brutal.